Hello, I'm the Halloween, and today I have another scary story for you called The Message. I've been lying in bed for hours. It's 5.30 a.m., and now there's nothing I can do. My parents are staring at me, but I can't bear to look at them. I'm trying not to scream. Their eyes are staring straight at me, and their mouths are hanging open. I feel paralyzed by fear. I can't let it know that I'm not asleep yet, and there's nobody left that can save me. I've been trying to think of a way to escape because if I stay here, I'm going to die. Just waiting for me to wake up and see what I what it has done. A few hours ago, I was awoken by loud screams coming from down the hallway. I got up and went to see what was going on. After taking a peek outside my bedroom door, I noticed blood on the carpet. Terrified, I jumped back in the bed and hid under the covers. I tried desperately to go back to sleep and tried to convince myself this was just a really terrible nightmare. Then I heard my bedroom door creak open, and I peeped out from under the blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging two large bundles into the room. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. I could tell that much. It was thin and hairless. It didn't have any eyes. It was stooped and crooked. It crept silently into my room. My eyes adjusted to the darkness, and I couldn't make out. It was dragging something or some things. It was the bodies of my dead parents. It propped my father up against the edge of the bed and turned his head around to face me. Then it sat my mother down in a chair and positioned her facing towards me as well. Finally, it started rubbing its hands along the walls, drawing something in blood. It stepped back and I could see it had scrawled a message on the wall. A few hours ago, it was too dark to read. The thing has been standing in a corner for hours, waiting to strike. My eyes have adjusted to the darkness. Now I can read the message on the wall. I don't want to look at it. I was too terrified to think about it, but I need to see it before I die. I peek at the message on the wall. It reads, I know you're awake. Now if you like this scary story, give me a like, subscribe, comment, and share. That would greatly be appreciated. And remember, forever and always, Welcome to the void.